let discuss about Kruskal Valley's one-way analysis of variance by ranks. The learning outcome for this topic is students should be able to make inference by using Kruskal Valley's. For the Kruskal Valley test, there are five assumptions. First, the data for analysis consists of k random samples of size n1, n2 until nk. Second, the observations are independent both within and among samples. Third, the variable of interest is continuous. Fourth, the measurement scale is at least ordinal. And lastly, the populations are identical except for a possible difference in location for at least one population. The hypothesis for Kruskal Valley tests are for Hejna, the K population distribution functions are identical. Or we also can write as M1 equal to M2 equal to M3. For H1, the K populations do not all have the same medians. Or we also can write as at least one population has a median difference from the others. For the test statistic, uh, this is the data for Kruskal Valley one way analysis of variance by rank. This is the equation 6.1, where Ri is the sum of the ranks assigned to observation in the sample. And Ni times n plus 1 over 2 is the expected sum of friends for the treatment under Hishna. This is the equation 6.2 where this, is, this equation is already sim simplified from equation 6.1. This is the method how to get equation 6.2. Uh, you can try and see this method. When given that summation of Ri where i is from 1 until k is equal to n over 2 times 1 plus n and summation of ni where i is equal to 1 until k is equal to n therefore we substitute all this information into the equation that we already expand and simplified lastly we will get this equation for the decision rules, when ni less than or equal to 5, we reject h na if h greater than h alpha for the Kruskal Valley test that we can see from the table A12. And for ni greater than 5, we reject h na if h greater than chi square alpha k minus 1 that we can see from the table A11. This is the summary to find Kruskal Wallis. Step 1. State the hypothesis and identify the claim that is whether at H0 or H1. Step 2. Compute the test value. Arrange the data from lowest to highest and rank each value. Find the sum of ranks of each group. Substitute in the formula 6.2. Step 3. Find the critical value. If ni less than or equal to 5, we can use table A12, that is Kruskal Valley's table. And if ni greater than 5, we can use chi square table A11. Step 4. We make a decision whether we can reject Hashna or do not reject Hashna. Step 5. Summarize the result. This is the example for Kruskal Valley test. Okay, from this example, we wish to know whether this data provides sufficient evidence to indicate a difference in median cortisol levels among the three populations represented. For this example, we let alpha is equal to 0 0.01. And this is the data for 
and decubital vein cortisol level in three groups of patients studied at time of delivery. We can see here for group one, it contains 10 sample that is N1 is 10 for the group 2 is equal to N2 equal to 6 and also for N3 N3 also have 6 samples okay for this example the hypothesis for HNA is the three populations represented by the data are identical Hypothesis for H1, the three populations do not have the same median, that is the claim. And this is the test statistic that we already assign the rank according to the smallest to the highest value and rank sum for all the rank for each group for group 1 the rank sum is r69 for group 2 r2 is equal to 90 for group 3 r3 is equal to 94 after that we substitute all the information into this formula n is the total sample from all three group that is 22 and R is the rank sum for each group that is 69, 90 and 94 and for NI, NI is the sample for each group for N1 for group 1 is 10 N2 for group 2 is 6 N3 for group 3 is also 6 as we can see here all the sample or the ni is all at six five so we need to use the chi square table that is table a11 for degree of freedom k minus one that is three minus two is three minus one is equal to two so we can see table a11 we can see here for degree of freedom two and for alpha is 0 0.01 we can take the critical value is 9.210 this as uh, we calculate before the test statistic h equal to 9.232 is greater than the critical value that we find from the table A11 that is 9.210 so we reject H now the conclusion for this example is medians of the populations represented are not equal that is the median cortisol levels are not the same for all three types of patient this is the correction for ties and this is power efficiency that's all for this topic thank you